Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is a very exciting video because I'm going to be filming something very different for me and I'm going to be talking about one of my absolute favorite things in this world shoes. So this is going to be my roundup of my personal best and worst luxury high heel purchases. I want to put out a quick disclaimer out there that I am in no way bragging or showing off. I've been collecting my shoes and my handbags for many many years. The reason why I decided to sit down and make this video is because I personally really, really enjoy watching these kinds of videos and I also like to do my research before going out and buying luxury items. And videos like this really, really help me out in making my final decision. So I really hope that you guys will see this as a helpful video and appreciate the beauty of shoes. So if you guys are into this video, I was thinking of creating a series on my channel. So this video is going to focus on my best and worst high heel purchases. I could also do best and worst luxury sneakers, luxury flats, we can do luxury handbags. So you guys let me know in the comments below what you would like to see. If you're new to my channel, hi, welcome. I'm so happy that you're here. If you enjoy this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to this channel before you leave. Please also make sure you hit the notification bell to make sure that you are notified every time I have a new video. All right, so without further ado, let's hop into my best and worst luxury high heel buys. So I decided to narrow it down to my three best and my three worst. It was really, really difficult to do this. Not that I have a ton of shoes, to be honest. I think in comparison to most videos that I've seen on YouTube on this particular subject, I would say that I don't have such a big shoe collection. <laughs> I like to invest in more classic, timeless pieces that will go with a ton of different looks and that I could wear for years and years and years to come. I take really good care of all of my shoes and handbags, so most of my shoes are in pristine condition. All right, with that being said, let's hop into my best three. These are the Christian Louboutin Pigalle Foy 120 millimeter pumps. I most definitely butchered those French words, but you guys probably get the gist of it. So this is my nude pump. I have another pair in black. So this is the patent leather. This is just the regular leather. I love them so much that I got them in the nude and the black. Both of them have been resold because I have worn both of them to absolute death. I cannot say enough good things about these heels. The reason why I like them, first of all, they're so flattering and beautiful on the leg. I think Christian Louboutin make some of the most gorgeous flattering heels in the entire world and for some reason the 100 millimeter heel height is so comfortable for me I can walk miles in these heels without getting a blister without feeling tired or anything and that's one of the main reasons that I love them they're classic they're timeless they go with absolutely everything and they wear super super well I mean considering the fact that I have worn these so so much walked in them in the rain and the dirt these have been everywhere with me, traveled with me all over the world, and they're still in beautiful condition. I also really, really love this particular nude color because it's kind of like a blush nude. It's super flattering on the leg. The pointy toe elongates the leg. There's a lower vamp, so you get to see a little bit of sexy toe cleavage if that's your thing. I cannot say enough good things about the design of this shoe. This is my perfect shoe in a shoe. This next shoe is a super special and sentimental shoe. Not only is it absolutely stunning, but this was one of the shoes that I wore on my wedding day. Yes, I said one of them. I'll get into that. This is the Manolo Blahnik Hangisi pump. As you can see, it is made out of like a champagne satin. It has a beautiful heel that is not too high, not too low, and this beautiful Swarovski crystal brooch, brooch or brooch on the toe. Again, it has that pointy toe. You're gonna see a theme with my favorite shoes. I love pointy toe heels because they elongate the leg. They look super, super flattering. You can wear them with so many different things. So this is a style that I tend to go for. It does have a higher vamp than the Christian Louboutin Pigalles, but they're absolutely stunning. The only downside to these heels, because 
because they're satin is that the material can easily get snatched onto something. I only have these marks on the inside of these shoes. I guess when I'm walking, they tend to rub against each other. But other than that, the satin has remained in pretty, pretty good condition. I've again worn these so many times and it makes the simplest outfit look so beautiful. The soles have also worn really, really well considering that I have worn them so much and I've never resold these. Super, super comfortable, never once had a blister in these and I would highly, highly recommend. And my third best luxury high heel purchase is the Valentino Rockstead Caged Pump in the 100 millimeter heel. I got the black patent leather with the nude straps and the light gold studs. I am absolutely obsessed with these. I've been debating about getting these probably for the first three years that these came out. I kept telling myself, don't get them. They're probably not gonna be in style for too much longer. And then they kept coming back season after season after season. I'm like, okay. I told myself that if I still love them after three years, I need to get myself a pair of Valentine you know, rock studs. So that's exactly what I did and I have never regretted my purchase. I've worn these so much with so many different looks and so many different outfits. They are super, super comfortable. I can dance in these. I can dance in all of my best pumps that I showed you guys. No blisters, no sore feet, no nothing. So if you guys have been eyeing the Valentino rock stud pumps for a while, like I have, and you're thinking whether or not you should get them, I would not hesitate because you will love them. All right, on to the worst. I truly, truly dreaded this process of selecting my three worst luxury high heel purchases because I love all of my heels. They're like my babies. So to pick three of them and put them in the bottom list just breaks my heart. But for the purpose of this video, it had to be done. So without further ado, the first pump that I would have to say is one of my worst luxury shoe buys. And to be honest, it has nothing to do with the actual shoe itself. And I will explain in just a second, but the shoe that I'm talking about is the Manolo Blahnik BB pump. These were my second pair of wedding shoes. Yes, I had two pairs of wedding shoes at my wedding because that's how obsessed I am with shoes. These are probably the most comfortable shoes I own. When I first purchased them, they were all white. And at the time I had this obsession with crystals and decided it would be a fabulous idea to embellish my shoes from basically heel to toe in champagne colored Swarovski crystals. I mean, they are gorgeous. They kind of give off that vibe of that uh, crystal embellished Christian Louboutin pump that everyone was absolutely obsessed obsessed with a couple years ago and they definitely look absolutely stunning in my closet but I have not worn them once since my wedding day. And that is so, so unfortunate because these are some of the most comfortable heels that I own, as I've already mentioned. And I would have loved to wear them again because they are very special and sentimental to me. But to be honest, I don't think I'm ever gonna wear these again because they're super hard to style without making your outfit look over the top and like you just came back from Vegas. And I'm also not going to ever sell them because they are just so special and sentimental to me. I guess they will continue just to be a beautiful piece of artwork sitting in my closet collecting dust. But if you guys are looking for a beautiful and comfortable classic pump, I would definitely look into the Manolo BB pumps. Obviously, don't do what I did and embellish them in a bunch of crystals. You will love them and will not want to take them off your feet. The next shoe I want to talk about really, really pains me because they were so freaking expensive and so uncomfortable to wear and you would think that they were comfortable because they have a chunky heel, they have a lot of straps. These are the Gianvito Rossi lace-up suede tan sandals. I believe they have a 100 millimeter chunky heel. Beautiful, beautiful shoes, but there's something about the design of these sandals that make them impossible, impossible to wear for a long period of time. First of all, the strap that goes across the toes 
is in such a placement that basically all of your toes kind of stick out of the bottom of the shoe and that is very unusual for me because I don't even have a narrow foot I would understand if you had a narrow foot your toes would be sticking out all the time but I actually have more of a wide foot and I have that issue with these shoes I tried to fix it by putting these little um, Dr. Scholl's pads in there but it didn't really do much and I find that my toes are always being squished by this strap and I always 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 get blisters in them if I'm wearing them for longer than half an hour they do look absolutely stunning on the foot you can dress them up you can dress them down but if you are planning on walking long distances in them or dancing I would not recommend them because they're just not comfortable another thing that ticks me off is that as soon as these ones came out I found so many cheaper dupes on the market for like less than a hundred bucks and I spent probably 10 times that amount on these shoes so that makes me so so sad because I could have spent a fraction of the cost and got a very very similar look and who knows maybe they would have been a lot more comfortable so that's why these ones are in my bottom three and the last pump that I want to talk about that I regret purchasing is the Stuart Weitzman nudist pumps now these are so gorgeous and flattering on the leg they will make your leg look miles and miles long but I cannot for the life of me wear them for long periods of time. Dancing? <laughs> forget about it. I legitimately probably wore these two or three times since I got them and I got them maybe four or five years ago which is so so sad and the reason I think they're so uncomfortable is because they have no support and the leather is super stiff. Now this particular style I don't know if you can see but the leather has this textured detail on them so I think that's part of the reason why the leather is so stiff. It's very scratchy on the skin. I always get blisters around my feet where this strap is and this little skinny strap that grows around the ankle is so thin that it digs into your ankles. I wish that I could get more wear out of these but I just don't feel like putting my feet in agony. They are absolutely beautiful and they go with so many different looks and outfits but it's just not worth the pain. I also want to quickly mention that I'm pretty sure this is the highest heel height in the nudist heel. I believe these are the 120 millimeters they do make these in shorter heights and I do have another pair a leopard pair that are a hundred millimeters that are a little bit more comfortable but they're still not wearable for long periods of time I just think that these heels lack the support and maybe if they were made from a softer leather they would work out for me but as they are right now my feet are just not into it all right guys, so that wraps up my best and worst luxury high heel purchases. I really hope that you enjoyed it and maybe got some insight into what works and what doesn't work for me. And maybe I was able to answer some questions that you may have had about any of the styles that I talked about in this video. If you are looking for a luxury investment piece, I would highly recommend going with a classic pump in either a nude or a black shade because they go with everything. If you're interested in any of the shoes that I talked about in this video, I'm gonna link all of them down below in my description box. Plus, I'm gonna include cheaper dupes and alternatives for all of them. So if these shoes are out of your budget, but you're interested in investing in something that has a similar look and feel, I've got you covered, girls. So check the description box down below. All right, guys, so that's all I have for today's video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. As always, I wanna thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me, and I will see you in my next one.